And turning now to the Middle East, Paul, the Islamic State group has released a new video on the internet to purportedly showing another British hostage. We've seen several of these videos emerge, sparking international outrage over the past month. What did the group have to say this time? Well, the fresh footage unveils a British journalist named John Cantley, who was abducted by the jihadist group two years ago in Syria. He makes clear that the, he is a prisoner and that his life is hanging in the balance. This as the U.S. continues to carry out a supportive role in fighting off IS militants across Iraq and Syria. Our Park Chiwan has more. A new video released by Islamic State militants on Thursday shows a British journalist who was captured in Syria in 2012. John Kenley, dressed in orange and apparently under duress, takes aim at the British and U.S. governments. Seeing as I've been abandoned by my government and my fate now lies in the hands of the Islamic State, I have nothing to lose. For the next few programs, I'm going to show you the truth as the Western media tries to drag the public back to the abyss of another war with the Islamic State. On the battlefield, the U.S. conducted an airstrike targeting IS training camps in Iraq on Thursday. It was the first strike not directly related to supporting Iraqi or Kurdish forces and came on the same day the U.S. Senate authorized support for the Syrian opposition in their fight against IS. Secretary of State John Kerry says the U.S. plan to counter the threat is coming together thanks to allies like France. President Hollande has announced that he has authorized for France to provide airstrikes in Iraq in response to a request from the government of Iraq. Uh, and uh, we obviously welcome uh, that public announcement. That's one of the countries that we've been uh, counting in our list. The U.S. is ready to strike the militant group in Syria as well. Targets have already been mapped out. Military officials say they are now just waiting for the president's authorization. Regarding a CNN report that there might be a Korean member of the Islamic State, Korea's National Intelligence Service said that was impossible to verify. But the intelligence service did add that if there were any Koreans in the group, they might be North Koreans, considering the close relations between Damascus and Pyongyang. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.